Okay, and welcome to another episode of the Comfort Cartoons Archive, where I am adding up every single SpongeBob and Nickelodeon item in the Comfort Cartoons collection here in the cavern. If you guys aren't aware of our calendar, this is where it's at on screen here. Today, we'll be adding one new item. We have the original SpongeBob Sea Scent Girls Body Spray. It is for girls, but I will say that the scent kind of is very gender neutral. We'll be taking a look at the bottle itself and also the packaging. And I also have a little original press description of the scent. So on the cover of the bottle, you'll see that it is, has the sea scent text and it says Um de Toulet, which is actually French, which is really interesting because on the front of the box, you will see from the SpongeBob logo, it is definitely a Spanish release product considering it says Bob Esponja, whereas the French version of SpongeBob would say Bob Le Punge. But nonetheless, it does have it in French as well. And it says four girls on the bottom. You'll see it has SpongeBob hanging out in jellyfish fields, a really early image of SpongeBob that you can tell just from looking at it. This product was released in 2003, but some of the original press cut images were still used up until 2004, and even a couple times here and there after that. But turning the bottle around, you'll notice there's no labeling on the backside, but on the inside, you can actually read the backside of that label, which contains more information. It has the SpongeBob SquarePants logo, the Bob Esponja, and then also you'll have the Steven Hillenburg signature, the Nickelodeon logo, some warnings like that this is a glass bottle and it's not a toy, and you have the classic hands out green label design. And you'll see there's a little Sandy image right there, which is kind of cool because this is a girl's product. They add Sandy sometimes in some of the early products. This is a little mascot of the girliness aspect of SpongeBob. And some temperature warnings, you know, the, the basic stuff. Don't put it in your microwave, don't put it in your oven, don't drop it in fire, you know, stuff like that. It's not a fire extinguisher, but I think you could have guessed that. And on the top here, you have this beautiful Nickelodeon coral. And I think this is my favorite piece of the entire product. I just love this Nickelodeon orange lid that goes on top. It pops on open and you have the actual spray pump right there. But in modern day, you would definitely get like a SpongeBob logo there or maybe just the perfume being SpongeBob himself. So I feel like the Nickelodeon aspect of it is just contained so well in this product. And that's what makes it my favorite of all the perfumes ever released is that it definitely shows that it's an early product with the fact that it's so tied in with Nickelodeon rather than just being about SpongeBob in itself because now he's so big, it's unanimously, like everybody knows SpongeBob, but at this point, they still kind of had to tie him in with Nickelodeon for it to be a little bit more familiar to people who maybe hadn't heard of him yet. And then we have the box itself right here and it says, Para Ninas. Excuse me if my Spanish is not, you know, on point. Try my best. <laughs> but you have the SpongeBob logo there, C-Scent. And also you have the Nick.com, MundoNick.com, which is the Spanish version of the website, which is super cool. On the side, you get some more warnings along with a jellyfish picture and also Squidward playing his clarinet. And again, you get Sandy and SpongeBob right Right there as well. And the back and the front of the box are essentially the same, just so that way if they were putting it on top of a department store shelf, you could see the back and the front. Either way, it kind of looks at the front of the product. Down here, you have Steven Hillenburg's signature again, the 2003, the barcode, and on the bottom, you get another one of those early SpongeBob images there, and also the sea scent. And it was distributed by Marmal and Association Inc. in Miami Lake, Florida. And if you're wondering what sea scent is, um, well, here's what they described it as in some of the earliest press examples of this product. SpongeBob Sea Scent Perfume is a rejuvenating, exhilarating, and uplifting aquatic floral fragrance, processing a balanced and harmonious mixture of flowers, fruit, and plants, including mandarin, bergamot, orange, persia, and jasmine. The aroma is soft, light, feminine, and soothing with sharp, zesty flavors added to make it more favorable and wearable for girls. So if you ever have this in your collection and maybe don't smell it, or if you never get a chance to smell it, here's a little description of what it supposedly smells like. I have smelled it, and I would say that's fairly accurate. I mean, I've also smelled it 20 years later, so maybe it was a little bit better back when it was fresh. That is actually it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Comfort Cartoons Archive. We got to add another item to the collection. Get to learn a little bit more about this item. If you guys want to see more SpongeBob or Nickelodeon items checked out in deep detail, go check out the channel on this virtual museum that we are growing day by day. And if you want to support the show further, go check me out on Patreon and my regular collecting channel, Comfort Cartoons, where we end up picking up most of these items. But again, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next archive upload. But as always, I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. And bloop!